I won't stop till I hear him say Warning. The information that we convey in these videos and the content on this page simply provides general consumer information. It is not legal advice or regulatory guidance. It is not intended to sway your personal bias in any way. We are simply just relaying information already available to the general public. We highly suggest you do your own research and draft your own opinion on the topics disclosed in this video breakdown. Without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy this video breakdown, and if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, consider doing so now. Okay, what is going on, Cyprex Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the Cyprex YouTube page. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video breakdown, we're going to be talking about Hedera Hashcraft along with Ripple's XRP. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button if you like and enjoy video breakdowns like this. Very intuitive, lots of information, lots of uh, behind the scene, rabbit hole, deep dive kind of type information, okay? Um, I know that we talked about this in a previous video. Uh, where I said, isn't it crazy that we live in a world controlled by a group of elites who will go as far as starting a nuclear war scare in order to manipulate the markets to sway the prices in their own favor? But the reason why I'm relaying this to you all again, because I want you all to pay attention to the day, August 2nd, okay? And I really want you all to be mindful of the macroeconomic perspective and what's happening. Understand that these elites do not have it in your favor, which we're going to go into a detailistic perspective of today, who these elites are. Remember that they are not looking out for your best interest. Ladies and gentlemen, it is up to you as an individual to protect yourself in this market, okay? With that being said, if you have your crypto on exchanges during all of this volatile price action on all of this uncertainty in the market with some of the things that we're going to cover in today's video breakdown and the next couple of video breakdowns coming out later this week, uh, and you lose your money in the cryptocurrency market due to the faulting of a potential exchange or due to investing in meme coins or whatever the case may be, that is solely your fault, ladies and gentlemen. Protect your capital should be your number one goal in this market. I cannot stress enough that if you hold your crypto on a hot wallet, it is not your cryptocurrency, okay? Now, with that being said, again, pay attention to the dates, August 2nd, where we had been mentioning to you all on the Twitter page that there is going to be some type of nuclear war scare and you cannot make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you right now, how intuitive we are with the research that we do here at Cyberx. Um, I mean, I cannot stress enough that we put out information to you all days in advance. You guys can see here, this article was relayed to us by one of the Cyberx students. It's just funny to see it all pop up now. This is now September 25th, 2022. Um, so now you guys can see that this is a later date from when I had posted this tweet out to you all, letting you know that there was going to be a nuclear war scare. We see the headline. USC signs Russia is struggling and has warned of a catastrophe if Putin uses nuclear weapons ladies and gentlemen you cannot make this stuff up smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the youtube channel let us know if you follow us on twitter and if any of the call outs that we have given out on our twitter page has helped you all out either understand the market a little bit better give you all a better fundamental uh overview or just in general let you know something way ahead of the curve it's insane how we're able to do this here at cyprex taking your attention now let's dive into hedera why i'm extremely bullish long term we know that they are a part of the global elite infrastructure structure. I'm going to prove that here for you all today. I'm not too necessarily sure if anybody else on YouTube has covered this. So I'm going to cover this myself, make a video on how fine-tuned Hedera Hashgraph is with the elite group of individuals that run our world. Okay. <clears throat> so if you head over to the worldeconomicforum.org website, you guys will find a little piece on Hedera Hashgraph, but you have to connect the dots and you have to be open-minded when you're reading this information. They're not just going to blatantly outright tell you, however, they are subliminally going to mention things. So here's a little excerpt on Hedera. I'm just going to read a couple of sentences. It says, Hedera is a decentralized enterprise-grade public network on which anyone can build secure, fair applications with near real-time finality. The platform is owned and governed by a council of the world's leading organizations including blah, 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 blah. And it tells you all the organizations that help run the governing council for Hedera Hashgraph. But the important part is when you scroll down here to this article, okay? Now this article, again, like I said, they're not just gonna blatantly outright tell you, but they do drop little tiny subtle hints. So we see the World Economic Forum mentioned Hedera Hashgraph. If you scroll down here, you can click this article and coming over here to this article. Now let's pay attention to devils in the details, key phrases, key vocabulary, okay? So this article reads, shaping the future of technology, governance, blockchain, and digital assets. And it reads, 
Blockchain and early stage technology enabling the decentralized and secure storage and transfer of information could become a powerful tool for tracking and transactions that can minimize friction, reduce corruption, increase trust and empower users. While still nascent, meaning we're still early in early in this adoption phase in this cryptocurrency cycle, cryptocurrencies built on distributed ledger technologies have emerged as potential gateways to new wealth creation. That's important right there, new wealth creation. And disruptors across financial markets, other revolutionary use cases are being explored in almost every sector, ranging from energy and shipping to media. Distributed ledger technology has the potential to transform the entire system, but it's also facing challenges. Now, this is important. This is why I highlighted this in blue. Pay attention. Including lack of interoperability. This is going to correlate with Hedera Hashgraph, a later PDF that I have to show you. So pay attention. Security threats, centralization of power, and unwillingness to experiment due to recent overhype. Okay, so I want to take your attention real fast before we finish this article to a PDF that was put out by the World Economic Forum, where again, highlighted in blue, we see that we are seeing a lack of adoption in the cryptocurrency space because of lack of interoperability. That's one of the key mentions. So coming over here to the PDF that the World Economic Forum put out in 2020, paying attention. Now, I know that a lot of people won't go through and read these, but I will go through and read these. So if you scroll all the way up to the top, you guys can see that this was a PDF put out by the World Economic Forum, where it talks about inclusive development of blockchain for supply chains part six a framework for blockchain interoperability so that caught my eye because of this article right here where it mentions blockchain adoption and cryptocurrency adoption and there being a lack thereof because of interoperability right so we go over here to the pdf and we scroll down where they mention hedera hashgraph and it says Hedera Hashgraph recently announced the Hedera Consensus Service, which appears promising for blockchain-to-blockchain -blockchain interoperability and details how a global fault-tolerant and cost-effective ordering service can be made available to any Hyperledger fabric network, fabric network built today. Why is this important? Because we see this article right here saying that blockchain adoption is lagging because of lack of interoperability, but then we come over here to the World Economic Forum PDF where it says that Hedera Hashgraph is promising for blockchain-to-blockchain -blockchain interoperability. So we come down here again where it mentions Hedera Hashgraph. This is an IBM vendor, and it says the adoption of the Hedera consensus services could be a viable path towards interoperability with other blockchains. So is it questionable to say that is the World Economic Forum literally saying right here that to solve this lack of interoperability problem, they are mentioning that Hedera Hashgraph could be the potential solution for that. Again, scratch your head, the devil's in the details. They will go out of their way to mention this stuff to you subliminally. They're not just going to go out and say, hey, Hedera Hashgraph is going to be the project in the consensus that we are going to choose, but they do say that it is a potential path towards interoperability, right? So with that being said, coming back to this article to finish it off, a systematic and inclusive approach to this technology can help ensure that everyone from the most marginalized members of society to the most powerful benefit from this transformative potential. Why did I highlight the sentence? Why is it important? Because on the World Economic Forum website, for those individuals who aren't too adequate with their vocabulary, it says marginalized members of society and then to the most powerful. So it is literally dividing the population right here, telling you all that they are firm believers of people of the lower class marginalized members of society, and then they mention to the most powerful and blockchain technology will benefit from this transformative potential. So with that being said, if you don't know marginalized members of society, just to read that definition, marginalized communities are those excluded from mainstream social, economic, educational, and or cultural life. Examples of marginalized populations include, but are not limited to, groups excluded due to race, gender, identity, sexual orientation, age, physical ability, language, and or immigration status. So they are literally blatantly telling you on their website that there is a level to this society. There are levels, ladies and gentlemen, which we've been mentioning and talking about for quite some time on this YouTube. People don't want to believe it. They don't want to come to the conclusion that you are subject to living into the lower level of our society. The majority of us are. If you don't operate with more than like $500 million of capital, you are most likely a lower class individual, i.e. lower or intermediate level of society. With that being said, this is confirmation right here 
blatantly right in front of you that they divide us based off of our economic status. Okay. Now coming over here, just to solidify who the most powerful are, you all can Google this list of most powerful organizations in the world. And the world economic forum is on this list. We see at the top United nations underneath the United nations, the United nations children's fund world health organization. And then right here at number four world economic forum underneath of them, we see the international monetary fund underneath of them, world bank, and then world trade organization. So with that being said, the World Economic Forum has stated that Hedera Hashgraph appears promising for blockchain and blockchain interoperability. It's just interesting to say the least surrounding the fact that they say that the lack of cryptocurrency adoption is due to the lack of interoperability on the same platform, the World Economic Forum. Moving on, coming over here, this is an interesting PDF that I found where it mentions both Hedera Hashgraph and Ripple XRP talking about CBDC implementation and the future of CBDCs. So coming down here, we can see partners, Ripple and Hedera Hashgraph. I don't know if anybody else has put out this information on their YouTube or on Twitter, but just to read an overview, it says Ripple. Ripple is a leader in enterprise blockchain technology, offering comprehensive platforms for minting, managing, transacting, and redeeming central bank digital currencies. Ripple is currently engaged and globally with central banks on CBDC projects. These projects include, and then it lists off some of the CBDC projects that Ripple is engaged with. I I just think it's interesting that it blatantly tells you right here on this PDF that Ripple is currently engaged globally with central bank digital currency projects. Okay. Moving on, it also mentions Hedera Hashgraph, building the future of CBDCs, the Hedera Network Enterprise Advantage. It talks about performance, high availability, eco-friendly, rapid development, ecosystem compatibility, platform trust, and predictable low TCO. So with that being said, scrolling down here, another interesting part on this PDF where it talks about the BIS, it mentions the digital currency initiative. It mentions IBM, Bearing Point, Algorand. You see Hedera Hashgraph, you see C3 Corda, you see XLM, you see Ripple. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be massive for the future implementation of CBDCs. And I think Hedera Hashgraph alongside Ripple are going to play a massive role. This is not financial advice. I know how I'm situating myself on the right side of the market. You all need to do your own personal research. I will link this PDF in the description down below for you all to read through. So I thought that I'd just share this PDF with you all there. Coming over here, that led me to start doing a little bit more research on the IMF and these major organizations. Something that I found interesting to correlate, this was something that Brad Garlinghouse said that I shared on my Twitter page. You guys can see this is from the IMF.org website. And it says, a new era for money. Now, a lot of people will brush this off. They will say that it's all hoax, but they are the individuals, like I said in the future, who are going to be part of the group, the large group of people who failed to do their research. Here at CyberX and the individuals watching this information and actually acting upon it, we are going to be part of a small group of individuals. Remember, 90% of people are still sitting on the sidelines, not involved in cryptocurrency. Don't be a part of those people. You want to be a part of the future, right? The future is blockchain technology. So to read this article to you all, no bullish moon boy hype. I'm just simply doing research on utility assets. So that's what I'm sticking to via my portfolio. I do not invest in meme coins. I highly advise that you guys do your own personal research for the future of this cryptocurrency space. It all always correlates back to Ripple, XRP, XLM, Hedera Hashgraph, Casper, Quant, Algo, IOTA, Okay, all of these ISO 222 compliant tokens, if you do your intuitive research, you will always see that the market makers and the people in control, especially the individuals on this list that I just showed you, they always stem back to these cryptocurrencies that I just mentioned. So why on earth would you want to be invested in anything else? Again, not financial advice, just my own personal opinion. So anyways, as the bytes replace dollars, euros, and renminbi, some changes will be welcome, others may not. Just to read a few excerpts from this article, money has transformed human society, enabling commerce and trade even between widely dispread geographic locations. It allows the transfer of wealth. Here's that mention again of the transfer of wealth. So pay attention closely, ladies and gentlemen, because this is going to happen and resources across space and over time. But for much of human history, it has also been the object of rapacity and depredation. Money is now on the cusp of a transformation that could reshape banking, finance, and even the structure of society. That is massive. That is a big sentence right there. Most notably, the era of physical currency or cash is drowning to an end. Even in low and middle income countries, the age of digital currencies has begun. A new round of competition between official and private currencies is also looming in both domestic and international arenas. So we see here the mention official, that would obviously mean the banking infrastructure giants, 
right, coming out with their CBDCs. And then we see the private sector mentioned, right, private cryptocurrencies like XRP, okay? Scrolling down here, um, this is another interesting part just to correlate this with something that Brad Garlinghouse said. As the recent cryptocurrency boom and bust have shown, regulation of this sector will be essential to maintain the integrity of payment systems and financial markets to ensure adequate investor protection and promote financial stability. Still given the extensive demand for more efficient payment services at the retail, wholesale, and cross-border levels, private sector-led financial innovations could generate significant benefits for household and corporations. That is massive private sector led financial initiatives obviously of course ripple is one of those in this respect the key challenge for central banks and financial regulators lies in balancing financial innovation with the need to mitigate risk to uniformed investors to overall financial stability now why is this important again it talks about regulation of this sector will be essential to maintain the integrity of payment systems and financial markets to ensure the future potential of this sector right so coming over here to something that i shared with you all on twitter i said boom this deserves 1000 retweets brad gollinghouse ceo of ripple said it is my firm belief that we are we ripple are really working to help support the entire cryptocurrency industry with this sec case that is a clear statement that he knows exactly why ripple was being sued by the sec why on earth would he say something like this that it is his firm belief that they are helping the entire cryptocurrency industry with this SEC case, right? With that being said, I just want to play this for you all. So just listen up if you haven't or don't follow me on Twitter and you haven't seen this, just take a listen. Uh, it's my firm belief that we are, me and Ripple, are really working to help support the entire crypto industry with this uh, lawsuit with the United States SEC. The good news is outside the United States, uh, it's my firm belief that we are are really working to help support the entire crypto industry with this uh, lawsuit with the United States the SEC. The good news is you see what I'm saying? Again, you have to scratch your head and really ask yourself why this Ripple SEC case even came into fruition in the first place. Last but not least, I want to play this video clip for you all from Hedera.com. This is the Hedera Governing Council overview. It's a nice, interesting video breakdown of the future potential of Hedera. You make sure that you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We really do appreciate it. And ladies and gentlemen, as always, be cognizant, be aware, be safe out there. And I will see you all in the next YouTube video breakdown. Sit back, relax, and take a listen. And I will see you guys next time. Are in the dawn of a new decentralized era where people who don't know or trust each other can securely collaborate and transact online without the need for an intermediary for distributed ledgers to go mainstream and enable this vision there are four issues that must be addressed speed security stability and governance hedera hashgraph is the enterprise grade public network that addresses these challenges the underlying hashgraph consensus algorithm offers speed and scalability fair ordering, and best-in-class security for mission-critical applications. Hedera is a platform built on and built for trust. You need a governing concept. And because blockchain systems are about trust, well, somebody has to set the standard for trust. Hedera aims to achieve a truly decentralized governance model. The Hedera Governing Council is an elected group of highly diversified, leading global organizations committed to supporting the development and growth of the Hedera public network. Comprised of the world's most innovative companies across different industries and geographies, the Hedera Governing Council will chart the path for the Hedera platform and public network. Their responsibilities include hosting and maintaining initial network nodes, establishing a governance framework for global markets, and overseeing the software run by hundreds of thousands of nodes at scale, and for the overall direction of the Hedera platform's code base. I decided to join Hedera Hashgraph, uh, but not only join, but being a counselor on the Hedera Hashgraph network, because it's important for us to influence the future roadmap. The Governing Council will play a crucial role for this emerging sector, creating the best practices and guidelines that will serve the industry for decades to come. Well, we're all going to be able to get together and share that sort of global best practice knowledge on a series of interesting and challenging questions about the future of this technology and how we can help frame a governance around it. Hedera Hashgraph goes beyond blockchain with a fast, fair, and secure distributed public ledger governed by the world's leading enterprises and made for developers, creating a trusted and empowered digital future for all. Each future that you built.
stop till I hear him say oh, oh, la, 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 la.